like to call the meeting to order. City Council on Aging Board of Directors at 5.07 on Thursday, uh, September 9th. Um, welcome, everyone. We'll do a quick round. We might still have some people coming in late. We're a little early tonight because of conflicts with other town boards and building and things like that. But, um, so we started a little earlier tonight. I think we'll probably be back at our normal 5.30 next month, I would think. At least we say that now. Uh, I'm J.D. Miller, Chairman of the Board. Linda Hayes, Director of the Council on Aging. Susan Gravich kelly Vice Chair of the Board. Marie Fricker, Board Member. Ari Brady, Board Member. Barbara McCann, Associate Member. Joan Powell, Advice on for South Shore Healthy Services. Welcome all. Um, uh, yes, uh, our, our, our secretary, so Pat is not here. Is it either Marie or Lori? One of you guys is doing it? <laughs> I just did it. Okay. I'll do it. I did it last time, so you ready to do it? No. Well, we're, we're on a rotation, right? Thank you. Yeah. 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 I did the ones with So the next month should be Pat. Yeah. It's amazing how quick it comes around. It does. Right. Awesome. Um, and I know that uh, Lou was kind enough to just pass around some minutes from previous. So we have months. both the the August minutes that were just completed by Marie, or sorry, September. last month, and then also the July minutes that we were missing in August. Okay. So now they're both. Does everyone have those? Because I don't have the July. Oh, right here. So you need a July and a and, and a September. And an August. And August, even though it's a September. Are they both on the same? No. Okay, I have 12. So I So here you go. Now, does everyone have two pieces of paper? <laughs> Technically. Good. Uh, so why don't we take a quick minute, minutes, uh, because we're at two, two different months, July and August here, take a look at minutes. If you remember that back that far and you catch anything, we'll try to make edits and notes. Thank you to both the secretaries. I mean, I, I read them. I really, really didn't make any corrections or changes. Anyone have any notes, comments, edits to July? It's July meeting, July 8, 2021. Can I hear a motion to accept the July minutes? I move to accept the July minutes. So I have a second. Second. Uh, does anyone have any changes, edits, comments on the August 12th minute? Can I have a motion to accept the August 12th minutes? 
meeting minutes. I move that we accept the August 12 meeting minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I stumbled over it too. Uh, thank you, Susan. Do I have a second? Great, great, thank you. Very good. Thank you, everyone. The, the minutes were good. Are good. Um, now everyone's got other pieces of paper, so Linda's going to talk. Oh, so soon? Mm -hmm. I like listening to you. Well, hi, everybody. You know, on the one hand, I could just say ditto whatever I said last month. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. How's that? Because really, it's, it's almost about the same. Um, with the addition of, well, yeah, of cool programs and people. Um, yeah, most, so how can lunches go? Most, um, the lunch is amazing. It's amazing, and it's only been really long four days. Oh, right. So we sit every day. Well, it is Monday through Monday Thursday, Thursday going yeah. forward, but we started a week ago right. Thursday with a lunch for 90. We ended up serving 82 wow. plus volunteers, um, of which we had many that particular day. And, and it was great, and 82, I mean, that was not to say the room capacity, but we used a whole room. We, we set 15 tables, uh, six to a table, as opposed to what we could do, just to keep things a little bit spread out, I guess. Um, so, and, and really, the initial purchases for some of the place settings and things really have only been for 90 or so. We didn't go to the complete 160 maximum just to make sure we were getting what we wanted without you know, overdoing it. So, so that was the other reason for the number. But still, that was Fred's first lunch, and uh, we wanted to keep it relatively reasonable. It was a lot still. Um, it was great, like I said, to have volunteers here serving Jim Boudreau being one. So the, the town administrator came and served. Cool. I think he oh, nice. We kept trying to push lunch on him after that. He can stay. Um, so we had then on Tuesday, 22. Tuesday is typically the uh, sandwich and soup day. Sandwich and or soup, generally speaking, together. So he's got a variety of them. I don't know if anyone has seen the menu already, but we've got the menu for two months online and um, some of it in the newsletter and in the calendar in the newsletter. It's it's listed very succinctly, but really his menu sounds great. I mean, he lists everything and almost every ingredient, but we could do that in the calendar. Um, so then yesterday we had 32. Today we had 37. It was meatloaf. Okay. So really, I think on a regular basis for this first, you know, the first few weeks, month, we're really trying to keep it probably the 40 or under. Okay, um, and you're on track? Because we want to use the side of the room where we can divide the room. We've been using the other larger side of the big room as backup for exercise. Or we had a presentation on Wednesday that we had 50 or so people for the Art Art for Your Mind. So, Are people calling in to RSVP for the lunches? So we really require that. Okay. Um, so we are working from a list and numbers. So if we know that 38 people have reserved, and we're telling for 38 people. That doesn't mean he as a chef doesn't know that he's maybe making a few extra, or there's always people who are asking at the last minute. And then there are always no-shows. This is a, a game we've been playing for a long time. But still, it is important, and we set the tables for a certain number. So yeah. at least two days in advance, he feels even that's a little tight. So far, I mean, he's been amazingly flexible, yeah. so that up to the minute, we are asking him. Can we take three more? Right. You know what I mean? Or, or our lists, maybe we can't rely on them all together because you know we have a lot of new volunteers. We have a lot of people at the front desk new to the computer, new to the software that we use for making the reservation. So you know, things naturally things are missed by us or anybody. So we're trying to be sensitive to that. The menu been in the Mariner? Is it going to be? It's in the newsletter. It would be nice. The Mariner's deadline is it's okay. it's a little early. It's Thursday. Yeah. Before come to find out, so we tried to get it in before noon on Friday, and, and found out that the deadline had been moved up. Um, so it hasn't been so easy. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. So it is it is online, and it's a it's a link just for the menu, even though they can also check the newsletter. Right. What time is it, sir? Noon. Noon to so you couldn't like come in at one. Right. Okay. You could not. Um, this certainly it will evolve, and and we have ideas that one we want to take it one step at a time 
maybe it wasn't clear initially, so somebody might come in a quarter of one thinking, well, it's 12 to 1. Right. But wow. really, we're serving at 1. It's not a self-serve lunch. We're right. serving. We're having people mm -hmm. sit. They can come nice. in as early as quarter of because sometimes people are ready to do that, and they can sit and you know drink water or have a cup of coffee or tea. Mm -hmm. Serving happens at noon. Okay. You could have done 11.30. I just thought it was a little you know, sometimes parking has been a little hard to find. Sometimes people are getting out of an exercise class that might get out at 12.10. Obviously, they're coming down a little later, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, but not any time. Yeah, like yeah. not walking in yeah. So that's yeah. a new concept for yeah. someone. Maybe something yeah. that we really have to be careful that we emphasize. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, however, sweet. that said, we also hope that the cafe can serve as a little bit of a supplemental lunch. Um, he's just not ready yet to do both, so we're doing the, the sit down, the congregate, but having a sandwich that might be available through the cafe, so then you can grab it anytime. Mm -hmm. if we've got them from, well, let's say we have a certain number, or we're hoping that they're available to be at the window 11.30 to 12.30, yeah. you know what I mean, something like that. So that's the idea of the whole. Um, so, can I ask one more yes, question? please. Even though we, we interrupted and jumped right to luncheons? Well, it was actually no. first. <laughs> Um, Which worked. People are required to make a reservation, yeah. and people yes. are paying $5. Yes. But if they make a reservation and don't show up, we don't get the $5. True. Yes. Right? Right. And there's probably no way to... To recoup that. I mean, you, you know. Deal but, but so far, to be honest, um, there's, not been, there's, like there's been someone who wants to come in. So if we get that in time, then oh, the numbers we kind of we're playing the numbers like a hotel. You know, so these are the you're overbooking. Numbers. You're kind of, and, and there are leftovers that Fred knows he can use the yep. leftovers, whether it's you yep. know, ultimately you know, soup at the cafe the next day or um, just using the broccoli in, in another dish yep. the yep. next day. Yep. So, okay. um, so far, it's okay. Um, we don't have a dessert all the time. We had strawberry shortcake for the big barbecue, but generally it's, it's lunch, coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's delicious. I mean, today it was meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. It was delicious. Um, the barbecue was great. The soup and sandwich was um, a chicken salad wrap. It was great for the leek soup. I forget, some man said, I've never had a, a leek ever. <laughs> and that was delicious. And it's true. But, uh, mm -hmm. So, anyway, it's creative, but also it's, it's good, good solid I, food. I looked at the menu. The menu looked great. Yeah. So, there are copies of the menu downstairs today. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Anyway, so that's the good news. It's a new program. It's definitely taken our attention this week, and not to mention our bodies, frankly, because we do have volunteers, but we've got some volunteers in the kitchen. And in terms of staffing, we've known we sort of did the bare bones. We knew we would like a kitchen assistant, but we knew we were going to start with volunteers. We're lucky to have Maureen Dinsmore and, and really also um, Barbara Caruso both very experienced, knowledgeable people that luckily are willing to be there, but they can't be there every day. Yeah. Um, we've got other assistants in the kitchen and dishwashing. I mean, we have for the barbecue, thankfully, a, a, a new guy volunteering at the dishwasher. I don't think he looked up for two hours. I mean, that was 90 people. But even I did it Tuesday when we only had 22. <laughs> and I, it's a lot of work, and it's a good hour and a half. Uh -huh. From noon, once the dishes start, you know, there's also yeah. the cooking, and then until it's completely cleared and cleaned up, and there's a protocol. So there is a lot. So it's really very quickly coming to our uh, realization yeah. that, that we'll probably need to staff that position, which, again, yeah. kind of new, but yeah. hoped maybe we would have enough. So we're certainly recruiting volunteers who are willing to work in the kitchen, whether it is just serving the food and, and staying until clean up, so to speak, clearing. Uh, we do have some volunteers doing setup in the morning, table setup. Um, and then there's you know, that person in the kitchen that also would be used to do the dishes at the same time. So that's a potentially three hour um, yeah. job. So it's, it's not easy, it's definitely um, you know, a substantial volunteer position. But um, anyone willing, it would be fun. Would a position like that, I'm sorry, it's just okay. um, would that go towards the um, community service that you can do to the, the tax work off? Sure. The tax work -off. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So and it's a hundred hours, right? It is. That is a hundred hours. It's not that you have to complete a hundred hours. No. You can get the credit for less than a hundred, especially at this point. Normally, we don't start people if we can help it this late in the game. Right. But we would now. I mean, I have people doing the parking lot monitoring yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. We didn't start till August. Yeah. They, they get a hundred hours, but they may not. We can put it in, or we can just bring it around to the next year, but then you're waiting a whole other year for yeah. that reduction, right. so right. it's it's sort of either or. Or then you can start over in, in December, basically counting the hours again, or November. Depends on when we cut it off. So I think when we get high school kids in the summer to do the serving part. Yes. Because I've been approached by a couple about how they can work here, you know, it's for some of the community service hours, so mm -hmm. that would be unfortunately. Yeah, but now yeah, cool, that's next so, summer. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I know it's not now. But yes, we, we would always take them. Yeah. yeah, and and it would love that both sides. So no, I was just going to ask. So as far as like hiring somebody or for any other position, how does that work out? I mean, do you have budgeting? Or yeah, you so to, it, yeah, oh, it's there. we can't just do that right now, even yeah. even though. I could look at the formula too. grant, or I could ask for friends. Yeah. But it's still a position that needs to be sort of created and created approved. Created and all that. We do have union positions, and we have non-union positions, mm -hmm. and it would have to be properly delineated, I guess, wow. and, and, and approved, actually. So. Um, so it's a process. But we know, you know, as we, as we sort of created the program, that this, yeah. you know, start with the chef and see it's if we can manage it with volunteers, and if we can't, we'll take the next step. I love the front cover, too. It is nice it's to show. Really, really nice. Yeah. yeah, and it looks very He's super. We're professional. We have yeah, very professional. That's a great cover. Very blessed to have him. The whole newsletter looks beautiful. Oh, very good, and just jumped in right away with doing the newsletter, so kudos to her, really, for that, completing that. So, in addition, um, we, are, we are interviewing for the outreach coordinator position, um, still, but it is it is ongoing. Um, you, there are some candidates we that have are starting candidates to test right now. Yep. <clears throat> so I will call on a second Good. interview for. for both. Um, we did hire a new part-time van driver, uh, which is very nice. His name's Juan, and he actually started last week. Of course, we were a little we really needed that person. <laughs> we do have the other two part-time drivers who are really backup drivers because they have um, school bus driving responsibilities as well. And then we may have a returning driver, one of our ones, who's been out on medical. But hey, listen to not the that we're not, but we, we are still looking, absolutely. Listen to the news, and that's huge. It's everywhere, yeah. I know. And, and I mean just everywhere, but drivers, for some reason, right. it's everywhere. And everybody seems to need them. And there's 9.2 million jobs open. Nine, over nine million jobs. Well, where they get that report? Like, <laughs> yeah, I know about my job, you know, US Department know. of Labor. <coughs> Interesting. Nine point two million jobs open, and like seven point two million yeah. unemployed people. Right. It doesn't quite add <laughs> up. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's interesting. Number. Well, I also have another, you know, job um, that would again get tax work off hours if they wanted, but I still need one parking lot monitor. I'm just filling in. Where I need to, but but I do have four volunteers cover actually five volunteers covering right now, but I could use one more. So and actually, it's it's a very useful exercise. It really is. I mean, sometimes even before I was required to do it because of a couple of the events we've had, I would just go in the parking lot, even worried that I wonder if it's full, and it's close to full or. A little conflict with a Tuesday morning, let's say, because this past Tuesday morning, of course, we're studying lunch, but we had a men's breakfast for the first time as well, mm -hmm. and still have our exercise class and mahjong. So these are fairly all well attended things, and we have 14 spaces that should be available to us behind the A wing, but yet the food pantry is open and the volunteers are parking there. Mm -hmm. So, and the line for the food pantry is also lining up, impeding a little bit of the access and egress for people even looking for parking. So it's not ideal. Um, but we have been full a few times. I mean, maybe on one hand, but still a few times we have been completely full. We've been a little frustrated with that. Sometimes it's just the changing of the guard. Like it's right. noon, 
the 11 o'clock class is getting out right. and they are leaving, but still the new people are coming in and trying to fix. Right. So, so it's still, it's, it's a very good exercise for just knowing when, I mean, sometimes it, it's helpful to know why that's the case, why are we full. Um, so uh, there's a report from Jess on some numbers and attendance, which we can get to. Um, Friday Flix is back, so I think the movies are nice um, to have, and we are serving popcorn if anyone's interested. Indoor pickleball, I'll just that continues to be a little bit um, also hard between the people who are just happy to play outdoors. So our program, not to say it's suffering, but it's just not um, happening. <laughs> and trying to build that back up, we need a good day and time. Friday morning might not be it, but that's the only time we can get. And we do have a few volunteers who are very willing to help new people get acclimated to the, the job. And I am there if needed, but um, it's just been a little sporadic and hard, so not as cohesive as it has been. Because the other time. pickleball is still Well, it's just, you know, course. maybe, you know, there's certain things that the year of the, the shutdown has, has changed. Yeah. And so it's almost like starting anew. And I could go back to how we did that in the first place, how we started the program, and I almost feel like that's what we're doing. So, um, so the outdoor pickleball is also on Friday, so right? It's, it's every day or any day oh, wow. they complain. It's like I said, very, okay. very grassroots, yeah. um, no, no, which is great. In my but still, so I don't want to lose it. I, I, I want to have the program. I mm -hmm. think it was a good thing for us to have. And I mean, people have enjoyed it. And they learned through this program, and now they're the ones playing outdoors. It's great. But it, it just takes some thought right now. So our support groups are running. We want to coordinate uh, through Susan to reinitiate a model for the brief support group, maybe starting in November when we do the next newsletter. Um, caregiver and Parkinson's are both going to meet here. It was a wonderful little gathering that the Parkinson's group had here to kind of come back um, in August they came. So we had probably 14 of them here, just for a little social gathering because they hadn't met. So I can't say enough about the art sale and the art show that continues sort of because uh, some of Joanne's paintings are still on the wall downstairs. But I will say that um, the intake you know, from the proceeds is a lot. So we'll be receiving a donation of 11,000 wow. and some change from, from them. Wow. And that's a high percentage of what they brought in, but they're going to use some of it for a separate purpose to honor her and we are getting okay. 11,000 of that. And there's still some that are for sale on the walls? Yep. Okay. I mean, they took some back, they, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of paintings yeah. of all styles, most not framed, many matted, but not all. Um, <coughs> so I didn't see what they ended up bringing home with them, but to think that there was still anything left because of the number of people that came for three days. So it was a lovely event. It was. Um, a really nice way to honor her memory, both for the family. And, and if I met one more cousin, it was like, wow, <laughs> another cousin. So it was really almost like a service for them. You know, they mm -hmm. got to tell stories and everybody chose uh, something. And it was really lovely to watch. And not only that, all her friends and great students. Display. Uh, great display. It really was. So I'm happy we were able to do that. They were very happy and it was successful. So uh, we will have the donation accepted by the Board of Selectmen on the 21st, so that will be televised nice. and people will get to, to see it here. Right. And at least one of the sister and brother will be there, um, or awesome. a rich or both. Awesome. So moving from that, That's we great. are, I have a couple of volunteers um, willing to help me, one of which is our former board member, Lucille oh. Sorrentino. So she's helping, and Esther Macio with with trying to organize some displays for the walls downstairs at least, and if needed, we could come upstairs, but one of the walls up here on the second floor, I, I do want to keep for Joanne's work or for students' work or something mm -hmm. that continues to honor her. Um, and then downstairs will be rotating. Be the rotating. Rotate. So we are trying to look at senior art work. Um, mm -hmm. So a few people had seen me put it in the newsletter before. I didn't get it in this last one. So we're doing some other outreach, but um, but we would like to be able to do that sometime you know, about the September 20th or so. So are you, can I just ask a question on that? So are you looking to do other, using it in some way to do other fundraising? Or no. is it just to display? To display. To display. The reason why Different I'm themes. Is because three of the people that are in the grief support group now are mm -hmm. very, very 
good, wonderful artists. Oh, wow. So nice I will, I'm yes. going to ask them if they'd like to have their work displayed. I don't Marsha have anything Pauli written. And Rebecca are oh, all really? artists, yeah. yeah don't have anything written in terms of really policy, but, you know, in the beginning we're taking one piece, but it, it could be oh. we have room for two, so... Um, Take just one piece on just, this Just seniors who are involved, situate people, that we, yeah. could, we could display their work. So yeah, we're thinking cool. six weeks could be a little longer, and then we have another idea for one after that, maybe starting in November. You know what would be nice, I don't know how many people are taking painting classes, but mm -hmm. it would be nice for the students or Yes. And then people see that and they're like, wow, this yeah, they class can, maybe is I could good. Do that. They I want to take this yes. class. Yes, which yeah. was is somewhat what we hope to do up here, I right. think, just because it's the arts and crafts room and yeah. why not. I think that would be so nice. I do too. Thank you. I mean, I, I think eventually we'll probably do some kids at high school. Yes, mm -hmm. well, we didn't. I, I, I have to I mean, apologize to them. Next, next year. I didn't. Um, Situate Education Foundation is doing something at the library uh, this tomorrow. <clears throat> And they would have, like, maybe some of our people could have become involved in that effort, but the kids are doing some kind of a mural. Yeah, yeah. And okay. I, I would take it and display it here for a while. That would be great. We just, I didn't have time to sort of see if any of our people were interested in doing that, if they could, would have been. But So they're doing that effort, and we would love that. And any other students who want to display it yeah, at the times that they're doing those would be great. I don't know. It's early in the year. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say that these programs that you've done, I said, oh, listen, I just skimmed through it. Yeah. It's fantastic. You have so many different things in so many different areas. There's something for everybody. A little something and, you know, more to come. So it's, wow, it, yeah. it, is, it is a lot. And we are stretched. I mean, the staff is stretched, um, which is a little bit of a good segue, I guess, because we are mm -hmm. reposting the transportation coordinator position. Mm -hmm. So Anne is leaving the post. Um, the end of the month, she did agree to stay through the month. Okay, maybe months. we would have Stop. somebody by then, but um, we'll see about that. It's a lot. It's a full. It, yeah. It's a full time job for a reason, and it's a yeah. lot of phone work, and it's a yep. lot of back and forth. Um, and then with the driver deficit, <laughs> and a lot of um, fitting the puzzle together, yeah. and, and no doubt it has been necessarily Just, been easy. As an aside, I had my sister. My sister signed up for the preview class yesterday. Mm -hmm. She took it, loved it. I'm so glad. And yeah. but when she's called me, she said, "Are you kidding me? That's your senior center?" She was a girl. <laughs> she said, "It's magnificent." <laughs> We've gone from being the yeah. poor stepchild, yeah. you know, with with really I couldn't believe it. I people felt badly for us. Not even poor stepchild. Not, not, not even on the radar. No, you're right. Not even. Everyone that's coming right now. Now everybody. I know. Know. Well, I don't have numbers, but we have a lot of people from the surrounding communities coming. And of course, our people went always went to Marshfield yep. and yep. various other locations, yep. so it's only fair. <coughs> but they are using us, yes. So the Shine appointments, I didn't get on the report, so if you want to write a week, we, we had 10 in-house. I, I believe they're still offering some phone help as well, the Shine counselors, so you know we have two. So I think they alternate weeks. The lawyers have come back in, so we, we may have only had two this last month in August, but I'm pretty sure we had four in July. Farmers market coupons through social elder services. So we didn't just do it as many as we usually do, but, Shut up, I pick up. but we had Open 25. We start before we know. So, and I think that was still useful for those, but we, we don't get them until really mid-July, the farmers market coupons. Yeah. And they can use them till October, but... Um, so I could keep some if there were still people interested. But so, so there was that, and still outreach. Um, you know, doing our best, lucky to have Erica here, sort of serving us um, in, in Great. the capacity that she can. Yep. So <clears throat> I might as well keep going on the building, even though it's a little bit out of agenda order. Because really, it looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. Where the entrance to the food pantry is. Yes, it, it is right next to the next building. I know. Where? Do you want to? Um, they might not be open right now. Well, I'm supposed to be going to need it. Oh, well, it's, then the door is open, right? right? It should be that door right there, although maybe that's blocked off from the concrete, so you just got to walk around to the next. So up the stairs, or? I think up the stairs, because that's, that's concrete, looks like it's been worked off. So, yeah. 
so up the stairs. Yeah. So for instance, they've been serving till about five or something, and the lineup would be on the opposite side of the building? Yeah. Okay. The door is but the right door. Okay. But yeah. you might have to knock really loud unless there's another one. Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> So, the Food Pantry is actually getting their new door tomorrow. Um, so, it might be more clear when that happens. Good. Um, our contractor is done. So, I mean, our, our landscape contractor, I should have said in the report, is done. So, they're no longer mowing, and we need DPW to start their mowing. Right. Weeding is something else, and we need help for weeding. Now, I don't know if you know, spring we saw all kinds of weeds and into the summer. I don't know if weeds continue to grow. They do. I'm not a gardener. They so do continue to we grow. have obviously Miraculous. thoughts. Endlessly. Right. Uh, all right. So another job for volunteers, but I actually have another thought um, that we may be able to call on um, some students to do that. So that would be nice if we could get that to What about this one here that's advertised the yes. program? Exactly. Okay. So I haven't yeah. I haven't contacted them yet. But okay. we are using them in the Dining room Mondays oh, and Tuesdays nice. to set the tables, so nice. maybe they could do both. Um, the kitchen, we're still, you know, we're still tweaking the kitchen, so we have had some issues. Um, the stove, we were doing the pancake breakfast in August, and the pilots just couldn't, wouldn't come on, and it was really frustrating. And we were going to cook the pancakes in the kitchen at that time, but we decided against that. But still had the technician come, and he had to order three pilots. Now, right now they're working; they've been working, but. Um, Fred's just been frustrated with the stove itself. It's, it's very high-end, maybe too much so, but they're going to replace the parts, and if it doesn't somehow get better or become more reliable, then we're going to ask them to replace the stove. <clears throat> U.S. Foods is our food supply vendor, just That's great. interesting to know. Yep, they're all over town. <laughs> They're on the state bid list, and that's why oh, we, were okay. able, we were lucky that we were able yeah, to get them. Really Churchill we are using for linen, so we do have tablecloths every day and rags that they're supplying, then they pick up once a week. So um, that's nice, so we don't have to launder. Well, we do if we use our tablecloths for other reasons. And I am still ordering equipment, so there is a PBC meeting next Tuesday night. I still have to get some approval for some more kitchen equipment. It's just evolving all the time. Now that he's here, he knows best what, what is needed. Um, our chair rail and handrails are installed, completed as of yesterday, oh, if you good. noticed it here on I the second floor. Good. <clears throat> Quick work, it was great. We had an issue there with the wood that originally came, we were sure, then we had to reorder, but there was some confusion and uh, there were some pieces they didn't like. So they supplied the rest, free of charge actually, which was very nice of Master Millwork. Um, we've had some issues with the air handling and HVAC, and it's working great, and room to room is how it works, but um, there's different units that Kevin and facilities is just trying to get a handle on, no pun intended, so they're working with the, um, with the vendor on that. Fire alarm was going off incessantly for a week or so, and it wasn't really the fire alarm, I shouldn't say that. Someone inadvertently pulled the fire alarm, and this is an issue because you'll notice maybe when you leave today, that the fire alarm is on the right, right before you exit the building. Okay. And it's easy to think, you know, there's that the push button to push open button. the door. You oh, could no. just accidentally sort of not pay attention. Okay. Or to be honest, if you even just lost your balance a little and had to reach out, yes. that's right where it is. Oh, you know what I mean? So no. we don't know how it happened, but somebody did it. And then everybody had to leave the building. And oh, I mean, it so happened, I think I was already out of the building. So anyway, oh. we didn't know. They said, well, that's where it happened. So we might have to get a cover on that. So that doesn't happen. But otherwise, on the left-hand side, there's also an electrical panel. And that was the alarm going up. It just indicates some kind of electrical trouble. And it has to do with the phones. So it took a while to um, resolve that issue. But the fire department finally It has to do with the phones? There's some um, connection with the line, phone lines. Wow, okay. So um, there were a lot of people involved, but the fire department ultimately, I believe. So we haven't heard it for a week. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yep. Uh, a spinet piano has been offered to us, and I'm having that, I'm going to arrange to have that look. Uh, originally, I mentioned I wanted a baby grand. Mm -hmm. We almost took one that was over 100 years old, and I did ask someone, a piano technician, to look at it, and he did not recommend we take it. Yeah. Facilities had a little, I did get some pushback. They just didn't think we had the room and the storage. We do occasionally need to move it out of the way. 
Um, so in the end, if, if this one is is in good shape, is that the kind that fits up against is, the wall? It is. Yeah. Um, yeah where, would, where would you put it? In the main room, but in downstairs. the downstairs. Yes. yes. Right. It'd be nice to have a piece on the dining room side. Single yeah. one. Yeah. You know, honestly, so the baby grand would sit so that obviously it faced it and took up some space, but yet it would sit nicely. Mm -hmm. An upright, you have to put it against the wall. Yeah. So now there's a lot of windows in there. I don't know that it's ideal, but uh, <coughs> but it's something we, it we want a piano. Yeah. So we'll just we'll just see. He's willing to move it here. So if the technician thinks it's in good good shape, I think probably we'll take it. We try. just gave yeah. up a spinning piano from my house because Al has my husband has gotten um, the digital oh. piano from Kawai. It's, it does everything. Really? Yeah. He, you can play and he plays. Plays the piano, but he also plays all orchestra sound. Oh, and, but I miss the spin. Like a one man band. I like yeah. the spin. Yeah. Because it was a real piano. Yeah, this is, this is something true. Yeah. yeah. Right. Interesting. Well, something mm -hmm. new to learn. Yeah. Well, that's nice. But Would well, you ever put that out, like on a situate monthly or anything? <clears throat> you been working? I, I didn't. Originally, I, I felt tied to the first one that um, I had said if it works out, we will, we will take yours. And, yeah, and they several, waited yeah. for us. Several for free on that. I should have had it looked at mm -hmm. earlier, really, but of course with the building, I just mm -hmm. waited until we were ready, which was kind of unfortunate. But um, so I could still. It's hard when people really do want to give you something, and um, yeah. you want to say yes, but it needs right. to be the right thing. Yeah, and it needs to be in the right shape. So I'm gonna say that. Can I just interject? Mm -hmm. um, I probably should have done it under programs and activities, but there's a new reflexology uh, offering here, uh -huh. which is amazing. They hired the, the woman doing it goes to Cohasset and Hingham, and now she's doing it once a month here. And her name's Ann Brennan, and she used to work at Be Well, and she's fantastic. So, oh. yeah, that that's really a good addition. Cool. Yes, good. that's in Jess's report. So. Um, it is. It's, she's been filled. She's only coming once a month. It is. Um, it's a wellness offering, which you know we, we have others planned. And also this past month, chair massage started. Um, woman's name is Freya Schlegel. I believe I'm saying her last name right. I hope. Um, I forget the actual. First Friday is chair massage and. First Thursday, actually, they are the same week. Is is Ann for the reflexology? So it is fabulous. So that's using the wellness office, um, which is also where the the nurse is when she's here twice a month. Um, but we hope to actually add some other things that will make um, appointments with. So Reiki would be something else, and we are looking for someone to do actual foot care. So that would be nice, and that's a little bit more of a of a nursing function mm -hmm. or a dietary function. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, yes, the reflexology is great. Something I yeah, and she loves that room. She thought it was just perfect. She's really happy doing it. So I I recommend it. It's fantastic. It is. Yep. I tried it so I could talk about it. Um, we do continue as in so in Jess's report the activities and volunteers. So we are, we are tremendously busy, and I can't say enough really about the people who jumped into the front desk and really helped out with so much going on between phone calls, registering people, um, not necessarily getting people to check in, I guess is more to the point. I'm getting them cards, mm -hmm. getting them, you know, the electronic check-in is important. Um, just getting people comfortable in general and making sure with the numbers that we don't overbook. We had a few people leave yesterday for the Zumba class because we had to have it upstairs. So Sue's classes, we try to limit to 20 when they're upstairs. Zumba really should probably only be 12 upstairs, but I think we went up higher to probably 18. Mm -hmm. um, and that was too many during this time. I mean, other times they may not have minded. But right now it made a few people uncomfortable, so they did leave. So I couldn't do it downstairs because of the meeting that we had to set up for earlier. So we do have some conflicts, and, and sometimes people are a little disappointed. Can we add more classes? Mm -hmm. Can we always use the big room? You know, these are things we didn't necessarily anticipate needing, and we're just trying to meet the demand as best we can. So Jess and her crew and everybody's working quite a lot. 
Um, I know she's also looking to start up the Life on Learning series yes. again. They did a whole, I don't know if you saw it, but in the Patriot Ledger, they did a whole feature that Susan Scheibel did yes. a whole feature on lifelong learning and which senior centers are how doing it now and have pretty robust programs. Yeah, so it, yeah, would, it, would, be, it would be good. I mean, not to say baby steps, but yes, a yeah. committee would help because different people have different contacts mm -hmm. um, or different interests or different ideas. So it is helpful to bring those all together and then just to start to formulate what, what should be offered. And maybe we don't have too many, maybe we start with three or four as opposed to a, you know, yeah. one a day would be nice. But yeah, Bob Jackman, he's always yeah. been our, you know, life -long he's our lifelong learning guy. Yeah. Uh, and, and a few others, honestly, we have had a few others that would qualify, I think, but um, just regularly. Has Jess thought about maybe collaborating? I, I just have to think of this because during the really harsh days of COVID when no one was meeting, the Historical Society mm -hmm. did a whole bunch of, they did like a monthly Zoom event, mm -hmm. yeah. and I actually attended a few of them, and they were really extremely oh, yeah. well done. They had guest speakers that, you know. Um, Wonderful speakers. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if there would be a way for her to collaborate yeah. with them to maybe do some yeah. kind of a program. Sometimes. I mean, they do do their own things, and that's yeah. something they've always done, but if they're willing to share or, yeah. or do them here sometimes, and make them the Rotary's doing that really with they had, they had like, um, the daughter of Vincent Price who did a whole oh, thing wow. on Vincent Price his whole life. It was so interesting. Oh, and at the I, very least, we could try to get them. I would you know, love to yeah, get them. Yeah, get them on Halloween. You, <laughs> you, know, you can go on their site later and see it too. Oh, you oh, can. Okay, yeah. so they, it's really They have it on their site, so you can go in and see it if you can't go to. Yeah, because, you yeah. know, sh I mean, even maybe to try, I don't know, I can suggest it to Jess or something. Mm. She could even go on the site and see who the speakers were and then get them to come here too. So Barbara. speaking of Jess, is it possible that she could be, would it help if she was full-time instead of part-time? Um, that's a, a consideration. She might not be able to She's do that. happy right now that it's part-time, but... Oh, she was at part-time. She's happy well, that it's part-time. It's a part-time position and, she's and I'm not sure she'd be able to do it yeah. right now. Oh, okay. I mean, staffing and staffing changes is always on the table. Yeah, it just but. seems like activities director is so busy. So. Mm -hmm. Well, she's activities and volunteer coordinator, yeah, which yeah, is her yeah. title. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is it just seemed like I uh, always felt it would be a good thing if she could work. But if she only wants to work part-time, that's different. But there are other ways we can you know, assist her or uh, yeah. thought of separating the job. But actually, right now, it's, it's good. She's good at both. and. Um, could be just having somebody assist with fewer hours mm -hmm. if she didn't want to. Mm -hmm. It's something to consider for the future. For her. Yeah, got to look at resources. Always. Anyway, so some numbers if you're interested at all in the overview. But, you know, we put numbers. So in August, you know, you can just look at total sign-ins down at the bottom of the first um, table. Wow. So 544 sign-ins, that's, that's individual people, 544 wow. individual people. The 2,466 is how many times they're coming. Now, we have some groups and, and some just lovely people um, who are <laughs> amazed right now that they're here every day. <laughs> and they're almost embarrassed to say, except that I mean, they're here every day. Or they could be here from 9 to, to noon or even yeah. longer, and they'll sit and have a cup of coffee because they're at this point they're exhausted. You know I mean, those I mean, those they're 500 here. people are coming here four times a day. Exactly, or, or a week, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, big part. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so that was also true in July and, and in June. So we've had reports before that I think might have outlined that. Um, so the lunch program, of course, at this point, we've already served 125 people, believe it or not. Wow. And volunteer-wise, we've, we've had 12 people on the desk. In the kitchen, we've had seven in service tent. So 17, really, involved in the kitchen or the cafe. I mean, and we don't have enough, so it, it, mm -hmm. it is a, an undertaking. Mm -hmm. But the front desk also, I really, I, I really have to um, applaud their, their efforts to here to be here three or four hours, and they're working, they're working. So um, it's great. So that's been going well. So um, transportation as well. So 
the numbers, I mean, they are lower than has been traditional, and of course there's a few reasons for that, you know, between COVID, um, relying more heavily on Social Community Action Council with the lack of drivers, so that even getting people here who might want to come here on a Monday for exercise or a Tuesday for something and we didn't have a driver for them. Now that's something we hate. We, we want to get as many people here as possible, let alone getting them to their medical appointments. Um, the shopping has continued. You know, supermarket shopping is still, we, we are managing that uh, well enough. And I mean, I would also offer that possibly just summer months when there's other people in town, like families coming in to visit, mm -hmm. are they're picking up some of the, the transportation for a few weeks here and there. Yeah, good point. So. Well, for for their for us. No, for their parents. For their families. Yeah. Yes, that that could be. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, as soon as you turn them away once, they, they don't ask a second time. But but still. 110 is not bad for August, considering, and between medical in town and medical out of town. Um, let's see how we go. Well, actually, she says medical in town 21. Hmm. You don't see her having listed our social community action council. So she does tell you that 42 clients were provided 110 rides. No, it's down here we also contracted with Social Community Action Council for 69 out-of-town medical rides. Right. Mm -hmm. Plus 25 of, in addition, 25, she considers them regular riders. So we are using Social Community Action Council still for those medical rides. It's just that they're every week, twice a week, sometimes it might be dialysis, something like uh -huh. that, that weren't included in the 69. But actually, so that's that's another extra to the 110 rides. Right. Now you're over 200. So now we actually are more. So that kind yes. of actually skewed. But anyway, so you can see at least a, a rise since July. And then June was a little bit closer to July if I look back, you know, closer to 80 um, after cancellations. So. We're managing. The, the van is great. You know, I think we just have to get it inspected, actually. The still. new van? Yeah, it's registered. It took a while. But it's very nice. And the other thing I'd encourage is if, if any of you are either interested in you know, coming to lunch sometime, I, I would if any of you are interested in volunteering to, to see what the pace is like and what's happening here, even if it's just to fill in sometime, or a regular time. I think there's still a couple. But just some thoughts if, if you want to come. Just to give you a sense of, because it's funny, somebody did stop in today at, it was around 3, and suddenly, I mean, after bedlam, it's been bedlam, and for two days or three days, but all of a sudden, it was quiet. And that seems to happen. That's the time maybe a lot of people do just no, I think of it. And that was so unusual, no one knew what to, what was, to think of it. Huh? It was 3.30, because we'd actually had a line at the front desk of people just dropping in to take a tour or to sign up for the mm -hmm. first time or to see what we had going on and we only had one person on the front desk, so it was actually a little bit crazy. And then this person came in, I'm like, it's eerily quiet right now, honestly, and yeah. I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression yeah, like that this is the way it is all the time. Right. So, nice to have a sense of what we're doing. All day. Anyway, so, uh, I, I that's think that's, good. I know I talk too much, but that's it. Not at all. Very good. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for Linda? On? Any and all of <coughs> some of the things you mentioned. So what are you doing about the transportation? You're going to post it on Indeed? So it actually got posted on Indeed yesterday, and um, and we already have 10 as a reason. Oh. I haven't, I haven't seen them. Well, there's no CDL or RP. No, no. I, I will say in terms of, oh, the transportation coordinator, not not driving, but the driver's no CDL. Right. And, and I will admit, and, and we know this, the, the hourly rate could be a bit higher. Mm -hmm. um, and, and even considering the idea of staffing even a, a lower level position in the kitchen, I mean, they would want that to be more than what the drivers are getting paid, and really that's not fair. So really we have to look at that, I think, bringing mm -hmm. everything up a little bit would be nice if we could. Could we balance? The, the compensation around an, an hourly wage and a tax credit? 
to get them to a certain point? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I like, see what you're saying. Total compensation so is... If they're situate residents yeah. and property and, owners. And out-of-pocket wages every two weeks are a subset of that, but there's still a, they could, a, a benefit that's coming in another way. Right. I mean, I, I guess I would have to check into that to make sure that's not considered, I don't know. There's no reason to think that they couldn't, as a situate resident, they're completely eligible. Yeah. They're over 62 for tax reduction. Um, I mean, if that they're might also employed, you to, I, I don't think that matters. That might enable you to, I mean, in terms that's of a good attracting point. people, yeah. now you're at least able to talk yeah. a higher compensation. It's just not maybe a higher cash flow, yeah. or it's a higher yeah, compensation. So in addition to a paying them, they would get the tax credit right. to make it better, right. a better deal. Right. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Right. Mm. And if it works. So, okay. Anybody else have any questions? That was great. Thank you. I didn't see that question for <laughs> Uh, we don't have, well, Karen is not here and I didn't connect with her, so I, I don't have any updates from Board of Selectmen. Does anyone know what's going on? She was on vacation. Okay. Can I just ask a question, uh, just an open question. Does anyone know what's going in at what was Sylvia's? Oh, good. Good question. I do not know. I heard there's supposed to be stores and apartments upstairs or kind of. Oh, okay. oh, really? Good. It doesn't look like apartments style. Windows. Right. It looks like office windows to me. Yeah. But I could be wrong. I'm surprised they were even yeah, doing all the work on the building, but it's a lot I don't know what's going on. But yeah. multi use is the trend, yeah. so that would make some sense. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I wasn't sure myself. Yeah, I'm just curious because. Because offices are supposed to be going into that old bank, too, but. I haven't seen anything. That's supposed to be like a worse space. Building? Huh? The Bank of America building? Yeah. Yeah. That's supposed to be like a, you know, like a workspace, like a wee workspace. People know? that don't have other offices or Yeah, so like if home. you're a contractor, like I do, you know, oh, okay. say in my case, I do, you know, coaching. Uh -huh. So if I wanted to meet with a client, I mean, now I do everything on Zoom, can't you tell by my eyes. Um, but, you know, if I wanted... To, I don't have an office anymore, oh, so okay. you know they'll have workspace, yeah, so you can use space. that. Although there's a beautiful company that opened up. I'll just throw it out there called the Collective yeah, Company. I was going to say in North Situate. Why would you go North there? Situate? It's beautiful. Um, I right remember right on, the owner. Yeah, right on that corner of yeah. Yieldingham Savings. Bank. It's absolutely yeah, a bank beautiful, yeah. beautiful yeah. space. Yeah. She did an amazing job building yeah. that. So why would you go there? You're supposed to come in here. Is that the same concept? Yeah. That's what I heard, that yeah. it's it's going to be so. like a workspace, mm -hmm. and you know, I think she beat them to the punch, because they've been working on that building for quite a while yeah. now, so, who knows? Location, uh, maybe? <coughs> Joe, South Shelby Services. Well, we had a meeting on Tuesday, uh, on the 7th, these were the new booklets that they had. Okay. Oh, nice. Yes. Wow. Nice. This is great. It is. is it online also? All right, they, they do, they have a lot, they have Facebook, they have Twitter, they have all kinds of stuff. Okay. Them. Are they looking to hire anyone? They're probably, you know, all the time. Because they're growing. They're still, you know, growing. Okay. The reason why I ask is because um, the, so the elder services down on the Cape and Islands, you know, of person that was working for me through a CSEP program has just applied for a job there, like for a volunteer coordinator. And it just I never even thought of it as this being a potential source of jobs for people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's worth looking into. Okay. And and then um, they handed out this um, the five year plan goal, so I thought you'd be interested in that. And uh, they're going to have an annual. They're going to have the annual meeting. It usually is in November, mm -hmm. but it's going to be October 13th at that left hand is Ooh. because they are going to close and be torn down, and it's going to be condos. You're really? kidding! No. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh. So they. So she said, "Well, we got to have. We got to. Where is that? We got to have to have this." They said, "All right. Land off. You can have it in October. It will be the last oh. event that we'll we'll have." 
No, the bishop is is really really strong because maybe you know situation is so bad, but when you when you see the other That's churches right. in Randolph and other areas, um, so he just has a policy for the mm -hmm. whole diocese. Um, okay. Well, that's it. Okay, so no community here this one. So the next one will be in October. If we don't happens, know yet. If it happens, okay. We don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, Rotary plan to do our public one, but we'll have to right. we'll have to wait and see what happens. Okay. This is amazing. Everything's in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a great resource. So they do one every year. Yeah. It yeah. actually looks a little thinner to me than previous years, but I have to look at it. Uh, well, well, they might find out that they added this because I think it's great because it's easy to. Yeah. I can leave a couple if you need extra. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you have extra, probably. Okay. I'll give one to Erica and um, and then next time I'll go I'll just get some more when I'm there. Yeah, it would be great to have those at the front. I mean, usually yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a box, but we haven't yet. Hmm. So yeah, I don't do know. I think they might send us some. Right. But we'll take a couple anyway. They okay. have the abbreviations for all the acronyms. I can speak that. It's very helpful. Oh, oh definitions for yeah. Okay. yeah, like in other words, what all the different initials yes. stand yeah, for. All that. Yeah. Acronyms? Yeah. Like in the state, you know, when you're, you're dealing with the government, they always, you know, throw, you know, little EEOA and SSCP and it's like, they ask them what it stands for. Now we all do it, but still. Yes. Yeah, I know. For the outside world, it's like, what is that? So. Foss and Bill Campus, I know I got that yeah. in the same little note, but you've got some other information or any information? Well. I knew Elaine was away, yeah. and I think Gordon's away Gordon. as well. Um, so they are planning um, right. October 1st as the event date for honoring the people who donated to the From the Room campaign. Yep. So that's something that they sent invitations right. of October 1st. October 1st. will be here. 4 to 6. Which is very nice, yeah. Um, invitations were sent, and you've got RSVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the friends are, are, are meeting and they are, well, they're talking about a couple of functions, but we started to talk about things that we then pulled back on just because of the current climate and just knowing really if we should have gatherings. So really even now through November, we're just kind of saying um, mm -hmm. it's not necessary just yet, um, as nice as it will be when we can do evening or social gatherings, but they are planning maybe a Christmas fair. Um, the first week in December. So that'll be here. And again, if it was like the art sale and we can do something nice like that, I think that's reasonable to, to think we could manage that. Or they, they can certainly manage most of it. Great. So that's all I know. Well, the only thing I would add is the, so the reception on October 1st will also be to unveil the room signage and things along those lines. Right. So there will be signage that's going on or around each of the rooms, yes. um, delineating the names for those funding each of the rooms or participating in the funding. Um, and then there is a plaque that will name all the donors. Yep. And so. that will be next to the elevator. So actually, that's a lit back lit. So I have to get electricity in there, so that when they hang it, there will be lights. So did you send um, paper invitations? We didn't send. That was the yeah, building campus. That was from campus, the they build campus committee. They sent, oh, they're, that they committee sent a little. Says, they did send a little like in the real. mail. Okay, nice. Yeah, a formal invitation. So. Okay. Uh, I, well, I don't have anything else there. You already touched on building updates, or did you have anything else in mind? I really did already do the building updates. Okay. And uh, I included. 
include the board input for Well, because Pat Carlton, who couldn't be here last month, had made a couple of suggestions, I guess, or really she was wondering if, if the board could discuss some ideas for, for programming, mm -hmm. for programming with us. Or just yeah. general ideas. Just yeah. general ideas. So, do we want to open that up to this? You know, I don't know if now is the time. Yeah. It was before yeah. I knew yeah. she wasn't going to be here. She herself had some specific thoughts. Yeah. But, you know, it is something that we can consider looking at as, as the board. Yeah, I th well, so in general, I think everyone might think about uh, what opportunities and ideas on, on any number of different things that you might identify or see. And try to think about those things and, and remember to write them down or pass them along or do something because, you know, and it could be something out of, out of this building that's still related to the senior community, or it could be, you know, volunteering more in the kitchen, right? So it could be lots of different things. Mm -hmm. so Can I just ask a couple of questions? Because I have had a few people approach me with different ideas saying, hey, you know, we want to do this, or do you think we could do that, or whatever. So, I mean, and I think I already know the answer to the question, but I'm going to ask it anyways, and that is in terms of the availability of the senior center, like on weekends or evenings, is that out or? It's not out, it's just slow to come to fruition. Okay. I mean, I mean, there's, there's the select board and the school committee downstairs right now. Um, I, I have allowed for some meetings that are town community related yeah. that I've been able and willing to, to be here for, but we can't do that on a regular basis yet. And also, ultimately, if we're allowing um, use and or charging for use that has to go to the Board of Selectmen, and I just have not completed that document, right. to be honest. Yeah. So there are opportunities, it's just, again, it's new, and I, I feel badly that it's not ready and set to go, but we have to be fair, so I can't just say yes. The old building, honestly, maybe really, yeah, we, we did allow for though. some yeah, things, I and think it's just you know, And then the other thing, well, I mean, the old building still served at times for you know, a seven o'clock meeting for this committee or that committee, it's, it's, but um, well, like the, you know, there's uh, somebody had approached me about trying to do like a, some kind of a joint program with the youth and use the senior center, like on a Sunday afternoon or things like that. And you know, I just, I mean, it's. I don't know what the answer is, so that's why I'm asking yeah. it, because I'm basically right now saying, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think that that's a possibility, right, the it, second. It's only that we're not ready. It's not that okay. we're ready. But at that. some I think point, it nice. might be. It Even be better nice. if, it's, if it's something that they want to do with us, if we could. Yeah, you know, like connecting the seniors yeah. Yeah. and the youth. And that right. would happen easily. But again, sometimes it's staffing. Yeah, but again, somebody right. has to be here. Right. Somebody it's from the staff has to staffing, be here. It's maintenance. So that's another. Uh, turning the lights on. I know. Lights I know. Off, it's another. The doors. Um, it's such a beautiful job. building, and you know, ultimately it would be great to have it. Knowing, not, knowing not to kick off the the fire alarm as you walk out the door. <laughs> right. <laughs> all these things people need to know. Just like in high school. Could be. Could be. They needed to have a little fun, a little more fun. But uh, we would like the building to be. Yeah, is there any plans to keep it open as a senior center at any? Well, I'd, I'd like to do that, and I mean, whether we do it one specific night a week, yeah. and it just, you know, it's it's open, people could be in the game room, and it's just sort of relaxed, or whether we sporadically just you know, schedule stuff. some things, you yeah. know, could it be a five or six o'clock yoga class, yeah. or a poker game at that would be nice. six or seven. So, might be started. It, yes, yes. I, I don't know how restricted um, we need to, we will be by people just not wanting the lights on and the activity in the parking lot because that's been suggested that we shouldn't do that, but the requests are there for it, yeah. so we would like to meet those. There's you know, so many seniors that want to that, that, yeah. they, It's really true, and it could be a lot of fun, a book club at night or a discussion group, yeah. Yeah. I mean, any number yeah. of things. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Um, so. I had mentioned before to you, and, and I know I haven't come up with a proposal yet, but um, there's a designation, I'm a realtor, and there's a designation called the Senior Real Estate Specialist. Mm -hmm. And we were interested in, you know, knowing if it were ever possible to have a seminar of some kind here during the day when seniors here, they could sign up for it with an elder law attorney 
as part of that. Now I know it's a, you know, you may not see that as, as something. Oh, no, it, it would be a program. It would be a program yeah. that we could schedule. Would you feel about something like that? We, we've probably done it, but we would okay. do it. Yeah. Right. It would be informational, strictly, not, yeah. Not solicitation. Not solicitation, no. solicitation. no. Like an info session. It's right. good information. Right. But I know, I, you probably heard of Patrick Caliber, he's in other yeah. mm -hmm. very interested in doing it. You know, and I don't know if he would want to, if he would be interested in having him come here and discuss his program. He does seminars a lot, mm -hmm. all throughout the session. Yeah. 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 yeah, good Good to know. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of names that come through the door. Right. Because I know he'd be willing to come in and he'd meet with the board if he wanted to and mm -hmm. talk a little bit, discuss it. Mm -hmm. Well, we have. Three elder law attorneys right now who rotate. Oh, okay. the fourth okay. that we could well, have. Yes, I'm not saying they, they want to do a yeah, program, yes, but they're yeah. here. Right. So if you're right. interested mm -hmm. in a program that you would put together, that would be fine. Right. And there would probably be a fee for the room. That's fine. Not if it's a program that's benefiting the seniors. Oh, okay. that's, that's not necessary. You know what I mean? We just we'll see who comes, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, no. What do, you, what do you think about having so, uh, single mixers here? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm just, serious. Yeah. I've had people approach oh. me and say, why don't you start like a single social club? No, you know, year, years ago, years ago, it was 2016 when we did the, um, oh gosh. Rock Around the Clock? No, no, it was called The Age of Love. We oh, did the right. Um, right. Never Too Late Today was, was the, the, nice. the motto. And we showed a film, a documentary that had been made up in Rochester by this great, lovely guy, nice guy. Um, so we we bought that, I think the Cultural Council grant bought that in film. We showed it at the Milwaukee Cinema. And then a few weeks later, we had a speed dating, um, speed dating that's you know, event. That's fun. And it was, I mean, it was, it was some work. It was, yeah. it was wonderful, and it sounds like a laugh. But in the end, no, it was serious. just a social night is what it was. Yes. It wasn't really, you know, it, it didn't feel awkward, or it was just a night where, even though we did something a little bit arranged and structured, it was still a social night. So, I mean, it's we always thought we'd do it, we'd do something again. Well, you know, I mean, that's something a few people have approached me on that as well. Sort of as an, it's yeah. sort of like as an offshoot from people knowing that I run yeah. the grief support yeah. room yeah. because yeah. there are a ton of single yeah. people that are here in town that are looking. Yeah to make what? connections and stay social right yeah some churches do it but right now you know it's not I mean, comfortable for some. it it's it's you know anything you go to do with the church it has to be approved by the archdiocese it's like a whole process now and the covid makes it. but i would really yeah, absolutely so that i think it would be a great thing to start with a monthly, monthly. Yeah. And, and it did just come up this week, I'd even say, oh, really? and there was a reason for it, and maybe they provided not the usual, just entertainment, maybe it was a speaker. I, I don't remember. I'd have to think about that. But, you know, even if we did something like that once a month, and, you know, it could be a theme, like, you know, October could be a Halloween, or, yeah. you know, November could be yeah. a turkey trot. It could be activity-based or not. Or just a the instructor to do, what am I instructing? So line dancing. Well, I was oh. just going to say line dancing or ballroom yes. dance. Right. So, Latin dance class. You know, have you seen our suggestion box? So all suggestions are welcome. I mean, we've always said that. Ideas are, you know, what does that? Be something that the good. suggestion box. People use it. Yeah. It's good. It's a little silent way to get something. I mean, is that question that I should like reach out to just to talk to her? About well, we can just, talk about it. It's, yeah. it's a good idea and okay. something that we we plan. We have to plan together. Mm -hmm. She could end up coordinating it. Okay. We can talk. I think it's a great idea. Come for lunch. Yeah, here. Yeah. Only if only on the seafood salad day. Oh. Can't, <laughs> can't do meatballs. No, I know. It's pretty hearty. Time. Some of them are pretty hearty. No, they're great. It's a great menu, but uh, I'm admitted. Fork and knife. Oh. A, a pescatarian. Oh. So you will eat fish? I do eat fish okay. every night, pretty much. Okay. Any other issues, business, ideas, comments? <laughs> uh, our next meeting will be... Wow. October 
Months are so short. And the days are getting short. Not until October 14. October 14? Yeah. So does anyone have any, you know, I, I felt like I should move it up just knowing Seth had a couple of different things going on with the meeting downstairs and I didn't want to get too much of an overlap. We also were asked some time ago about meeting at 630 or, you know, we, we said yes, but then we just, and COVID hit and we just didn't do it because we didn't have to because it was not. I don't know, 630 is really late. I, I don't know. Is it better for anybody or, I mean, that's obviously it is late, but anybody care? I think you're six. Yeah. Early is better, I think, than late. So we like 5.30 versus 6 or 6.30. Anybody yeah. uh, anybody in favor of 6 or 6.30? I'm just trying to yeah. 5.30 is, that's our number? 5.30? Mm -hmm. 5.30. Yeah. Right. So the 14th at 5.30 here? Yeah. Well, 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 yeah. If we get deep into winter time and we don't have any daylight, maybe. You go earlier, we'll yeah, that's how I was just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll, it'll be dark. It'll be pitch black. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. We also, just interestingly, didn't, um, as of two weeks ago at least, had no applicants for the board positions that are open. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is a little right. surprising. It could be that the outreach by town, you know, town hall was, and sometimes they do more to um, to get people to just even realize that there are openings in different um, yeah, I haven't seen committees. I think they had something in the Mariner like a while back, but not recently. Right, and it's, and it's gang with every other every other committee in town, so it's just like this long Big, list huge of, long list of right. right. And so maybe we could put maybe we should post here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How many positions constant are open? contact? There's three. Next contact. open spots. Next really? constant contact. Mm -hmm. Oh, constant contact. Yes. Yeah, you, know, you could post it a monthly situate. Yeah, plug, it, plug it for a, you know, a couple months. People that do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, the, the, the board has a, has a head count range of, you know, You know, I didn't, nine, it's too bad. I didn't think to do it just because we list the board members and could right. have said that. And I, I, yeah, that's not happening. Did you say something, Linda, about you were going to put out a second October issue? Supplemental I didn't say that. Oh, <laughs> decided not to. I didn't okay. decide that yet, no. Well, this is I so think we have ample. a week. I don't know if you need another one. I know. I, yeah. We're probably, we, I guess the thought was maybe we keep on scheduling things and may have some new things in October. Now, at this point, we really haven't done things that. Things are changing quick. Right. You know, this is what we have for the next two months. Doesn't really need it, no. No. Anyway, well, thanks for, thanks for all your input. Is, Keep it coming. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? I move to adjourn the meeting. And is there a second? Second. Very good. Thanks, everyone.